it is true that government plans to spend more money on infrastructure next financial year. This, though, will not guarantee that this money will get into the pockets and incomes of the private sector, at least in the short run. In that stride, the central bank will use this policy to help the private sector do better business. For example, you know that uh, government is, uh, as in the proposal, they are going to borrow less in terms of treasury bills and bonds. Uh, the, the year that is ending it was about 1.7 trillion. In the budget that was proposed, they are talking about 1.4. That should provide more room, you know, m less pressure on the resources available to commercial banks. So the private sector should be able to borrow more. You know, so that is in tandem with our objective that if there is no risk of higher inflation, let's support uh, credit extension. Meanwhile, and the announcement for the central bank rate, which is a yardstick for setting things like borrowing rates, will now be read every two months instead of every month. This should allow us time to incorporate all available information uh, into the analysis that informs this interest rate decision. Investors in treasury bills and bonds, uh, the people that borrow from commercial banks and other uh, supervised and regulated financial institutions, you know, because these institutions use the CBR as a guide in determining the rates. So ideally, every person in this country, every business and every individual that is interested in doing business in this country looks at the CBR, is interested in the CBR. In effect, this should help the central bank actions to be more effective and relevant. Meaning that if you intend to borrow now more than ever, the central bank rate may carry more significance. Samo Setumba,